welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i'm the one who records videos and shares with you here at the learn with katie channel and um today i'm going to discuss with you a very simple um tool in photoshop that you might not have been using or if you have used it already before i'm sure you have um, appreciated how easy it is to use these tools now um here is a photo that i got from unsplash.com and if you are not aware yet what Unsplash is, it's actually a website wherein you can download beautiful free images and pictures. Um, it says Unsplash Photos for Everyone. And here you can search free high resolution photos, which you can use for your blogs, for your vlogs, or for your designs. Um, you can choose from wallpapers, textures and patterns, and stuff like that now for this lesson i actually searched for wedding and that's how i found the picture that we will be using for this tutorial so let's go back to photoshop and here we are the photo is now the background so apart from the automatic settings that i'll be teaching you and how to edit a photo on photoshop i'm also going to be teaching you the principles of layer the simplest principle of the photoshop layers that is so here we go let's go ahead and start now this background layer right here is the first layer that you see that means it's the only layer here in photoshop right now and if we will put another layer on top of the other that means it will be um affecting the bottom layer so that means whatever you put on top will cover what is at the bottom do you understand what i exactly mean so i'm gonna illustrate that so for this tutorial i'm going to use the same photo for everything for all the tools that we will be using so that you can see the difference so the first step that we are going to do is we are going to duplicate this layer and um oh by the way i'm using adobe photoshop cc 2019 so if the steps are a little bit different than what you have then please um create it in the right way like if you are using a cs version i'm not quite sure how that works right now because it's been years since i last to use that let's go ahead and duplicate the layer we can do that by right clicking on this layer and left click on duplicate layer or we can also use the keyboard shortcut which is command j for mac and control j for windows so now we have a new layer and that's named layer one and we wanted to rename that so we won't get lost later as to what settings that we have applied already so just double click on that and once you see that the um, name of the layer is covered in highlighted in blue that is then you can type um, the first editing that we will be that we will be doing would be auto tone okay so now you can see that basically they have the same color so because we have not applied anything yet what we did is just to duplicate the layer now we what we need to do is to go to image it's on top of your photoshop menu so click an image and click auto tone and you will see the difference so here's the original color or the original photo and then here is the auto tone uh, application to the image and now you can see that if we not really uncheck but if we click on the eye which indicates the layer visibility then we will see the background and if we turn back the eye then the auto tone layer will appear so there's a an improvement kind of on the photo if you were to ask me because it's more vivid right now all right and the background technically the background where the couple is standing is more dramatic because it has more browns already all right so i guess we're ready to create another duplicate so we can apply auto contrast all right let me show you auto contrast and auto color so now we need to create a duplicate layer again so um earlier we used command j all right now there's background copy already so we need to um, make this invisible now you can see that it's back on the same thing that we were earlier so we will rename this to auto contrast okay and then we click on image again and then click on the contrast and you can see that the blacks have looks more saturated right now 
um, and more with more contrast. So I'm sure you are familiar with those terms because you have been using that when you edit your Instagram photos, I suppose. All right. So there you go. So the next one that we will be using would be um, the auto color. So we just need to duplicate again, basically the same steps that we have been doing. When you right click and left click on duplicate layer, it allows you to rename the, the layer as soon as you click on duplicate layer. It if you do the keyboard shortcut, then you have to rename that in the layers panel already. So for this layer, we are going to rename it um, as auto color and click on OK. And then we have to make sure that we make this layer in invisible, the auto contrast, so that we are going to go back to the original color of the photo. And then we click on image and then click auto color. And there you go. So let's compare. So this is auto tone, this is auto contrast, and this is auto color. Personally, I prefer the auto color because now um, the photo looks more alive and the photo looks more vibrant, crisper, and also the photo looks more professional for me. I like it. Um, this is my personal preference. You may like the other um, settings. You may like auto contrast more or you may like auto tone more. So to each his own. But for me, I like auto color. Now, um, it may differ with the different photos that you will be using. So just go around and play with it. You can try the auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. But I tell you, that's the quickest way to edit your photos using Photoshop. So just one click and the change will appear. All right. So if you have any questions about this very quick and very simple Photoshop tutorial, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and have a great day, everyone. Goodbye. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow.